Hey everybody, I'm Sue. I'm Bob. <laughs> and we're at Good Times RV. Not having a good time. So we noticed when we got to our campsite last night that we had uh, wear on one of our tires. Yeah, we'll show you that. So right down That's here. Why, why it's a good idea to keep an eye on your tires because see how this inside bead is worn? And look at there, there's tread starting to come through. That's the nylon part. So we did a little research and um, found out that it could be improper load yeah, or could. we could have just gotten a bad tire. We could, yeah, we could have. But nothing in our load has changed. And uh -uh. just as, a, as an FYI, um, we put tire covers yeah. on the trailer wheels every time. Whenever we're, we park, yeah. Yeah, especially if That's... it's at least a week. But this isn't the outside of the tire. Something is, is wearing it. We don't know if, if Might it's be a overloaded. Spindle. Could be a bent spindle. We're not sure. We're so not sure. We're putting the spare on and we only have to drive 67 miles today. Yeah, so, so uh, we know that we're good to go for that. But we mitigated our damage because if this tire would have blown, oh. it would have taken out the side of this, the side of this aluminum down here. And the fender. Yeah, all and, the skirting and, and possibly poss damage the leveler. Possibly the floor, taking out the leveler. Yeah, so, so speaking of levelers, you guys can see that we have the levelers down. Yeah. So on this side of the trailer, we use the levelers to raise yeah. the tires off the ground. Yeah. And I'll show you the other side. All right, so on this side, you can also see that the levelers are down. But... Because the mechanism and the control pad has an extreme angle default, you do have to put these down a little bit in order for you to be able to raise the one side. So just a safety note, make sure you chalk both sides of at least one axle. All right, and on our system, it's simply turn it on and you wanna to go to manual mode. So you push the up arrow and it asks you for enter to begin. And that puts you in your manual mode and then you can control left or right independently. Otherwise, it's front or rear and they all come up and down together. So I'm gonna turn it off for safety till Bob's finished. All right, to confirm our suspicions about tire wear, we checked all the tires, there's one. So in checking this one, there's a little bit of wear. So we're thinking we may have an axle issue. You can see on that inside edge, it's a little smoother. Okay, this is tire number three, and you can see that there's no wear. So the two that have no wear are the front half of the tandem, and the two with the wear are the rear half. <laughs> if you have roadside assistance, that's great. We have it, but we don't want to wait two or three hours yeah. for them to get here. We just want to go. So we carry our battery powered impact wrench. We've got hardened sockets. We've got a torque wrench to torque this wheel on and uh, a breaker bar in case we have to break loose lug nuts. And a friend of ours gave us um, the trailer up trailer, tire changing. Trailer aid. Trailer called. aid. Yeah. And it's a yellow block. I'll take a picture of it and show you guys what it looks like. Yeah. Um, that works for, a, what is it called? Join axles or? Tan tandem axles. Tandem axle yeah. axles that you, don't have the independent suspension. You drive the good tire up on it, and then it raises the back tire. Yes. That's what it does. And especially if you don't have uh, automatic levelers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Bob's going to do the bolt pattern and get everything back on, yeah. and we'll be ready to hit the road. Yeah. Star pattern. How do you do that, Bobby? In a star pattern. Okay. See. Five, yeah. Five. Six. And then we're gonna set our torque wrench. We'll have to let it down a little bit, I think, to torque it. Okay, so you heard him. We gotta let it down to torque it. So go over there with me and we'll torque it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the system. I'm still gonna go manual. 
enter all right so now I'm gonna retract left side right side okay he said ho right there okay Bob's ready to torque so we're gonna torque them in the same pattern so one's up top Okay, you know with the torque wrench, you gotta hear the click click in order to make sure that you got it just right. Ugh, I haven't heard it yet, but I'm gonna go through. He hasn't heard it yet, so we're just gonna go through the pattern. So, center on top, center on bottom. Ready? Yeah. All right, so uh, he's gonna go around and check him one more time. He did add an extension, so he's not, you know, trying to rub up against the tire. All right, you heard that click? That means we're at 110. Okay. And you do the same star pattern. Number four. Four. Yep. And five is between three and two. Five. And six. Yep. Yeah. That's six. And then seven is down low, low left. Yep. Perfect. And eight. All right. All right, done deal. And that's your 20 minute tire change. 20 minute tire change. <sighs> when you have the right stuff, that's and, the 20 minute tire change. And it's just a little bit of sweat yeah. equity. Um, it's not bad. We're fortunate that we're physically capable to do that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, a little sweat versus hours waiting for roadside. Yeah. So, yep. all right, let's go <laughs> let her down. All right. All right, we're going to let her down. We're going to retract rear. And you can see it says down. When it says up, the, the levelers are in the up position. So these are all four of our rears. And it says up so we can stop. I'm going to just simply turn off the retract because now we're going to start setting up for hitch up. So I'm going to raise the front and then I'm going to get it high enough to cover the ball and we'll be good. I'll be back. Okay, so now it's the hitching up process. Yeah. So to hitch up, Bob and I use FRS radios. We've used <laughs> cell phones before, but we've been in positions where there's no cell signal. Yeah, no signal. So then the cell phones don't work. Yeah. So this is how we roll. <laughs> breaker, breaker for the money maker. How do you copy your skin tag? Got a cup, got a copy skin tag, kick her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're hitching her up. We know the radios work, so we're on it. Okay. Watch us roll. So as you guys can see, we have the Anderson hitch system. So it simply means he backs under that red cone, and it is cone-shaped, and we slip right onto the ball. So here's how we do that. I'm going to raise her up till he can get under her.
and that looks about right. Keep coming. Ho, oh, right there. All right, everybody, here's the magic. And that is how you do it. All right, skin tag to money maker. She's on. So one thing I'll say, remind everybody, in, in this type of system, um, every few trips, say once a month or so, we're full time, so we, we do a lot of traveling. You're gonna wanna recheck the torque on these on these hitch bolts, um, set the trailer on it, and then torque them, and uh, it'll keep you from having any problems. It's part of our pre-trip, ongoing pre-trip, post-trip. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All that it's, stuff. It's like checking tires and lights and everything else. You just keep okay. after it. And okay. Work. So, and also in our state, it doesn't require safety chains. Right. There is an option to add safety chains to yeah. this hitch system. Um, but we've chosen not to use that option. So, there's also a safety brake cord or cable that's going to be attached to the frame. And then it's a simple pin lock system, and Bob's going to show you how to do that. Yeah, this the safety cable is just, I keep it on a magnet here. <sighs> Keeps it out of the way. And what happens is, if the trailer does happen to come loose, it'll pull, it'll pull this cable out, and it'll lock the brakes on the trailer. And maybe just one side, maybe not all of them. We're not sure. We've heard differing reports yeah. on where the energy is applied. So, um, so that's part of the reason for not wanting the safety chains because if she's going over a cliff, I don't want to go with her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now. Okay, the pin locks, you just shove it in and you turn it and lock it and then you pull on it. And usually Sue checks it also to be, we check each other to be sure yeah, we never assume that the other one remembers everything. Yeah. Especially the older we get. Yeah. <laughs> what coming loose is that. <laughs> yeah. And then be sure your your cable's hooked up so you have your lights and brakes working. And then we do a walk around check of lights and brakes. Yep. So we each walk around the trailer. I'm checking for slide outs, make sure everything's in and tight. If there's anything that we left out, left open. Uh, we're now hitched up, so he's pulling the wheel chocks. And we use those primarily to change the tire. So, and then we'll lock all the cabinets and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, everything checks out. We got our co-pilot with us. She's ready to roll and we're off. That's how you do it. Skin tag out.